Hi, everybody. Welcome. It's our spring break. Here we are waiting for warm weather, right? Yeah. We're ready for some sun and some vitamin D. But when the weather gets warmer, we start to think about our skin. And so we're going to talk to you today about the things you can eat to make your skin glow and products that you want to avoid. So Lana's going to start and tell you about some foods and some supplements. Yeah. So if we want healthy, flawless skin, guess what? It starts in the kitchen. Right. I learned it the hard way. I <laughs> battled, battled with skin problems. Ooh, I didn't know that. Well, you don't know everything about me. <laughs> okay, save some things. So I had cystic acne. And, you know, in college, I was broke. And what I thought I was doing was I was eating healthy, affordable. You know what I was eating? Mm -hmm. Milk and cereal. Uh, Aha. Classic college fare. So guess what happened? Acne, acne, acne. Mm. Um, until I changed my diet, you know, 20 somewhat years later, <laughs> I learned that the milk was horrible. I stopped drinking milk. All right. And I stopped eating cereal because of the insulin effect. The high insulin, hormones go whoo, and acne comes out. All right. So no milk, no high GI carbs like cereal, right. white flour, white pasta, done. And we've talked a lot about those in previous blogs. Done, what, do, what do you done, have done. here? Well, I have kefir. I drink this for my calcium. Oh, we put this in our smoothie last time. We put this in our smoothie. I just drink it like this. Forget the smoothie. Right. Bring it to work, drink it. This is fabulous. It has the calcium, and it doesn't have those harsh hormones that milk has. Okay. It doesn't have the mucus that milk has. So right. for me, it's worked. I love it. You want to try it? Yes. It's this looks terrific. Delicious. Terrific. All right. Yeah, what about you? What do you All think right. is good for our skin? All right, so we want to decrease inflammation. So there are some foods that we can eat that are going to bring inflammation. Um, what do you think of when you think of inflammation? What comes inflammation to mind? Inflammation causes skin problems because when your body is inflamed, it Hot. increases free radicals. Mm -hmm. And those free radicals cause cell damage at the DNA level. So right. we want to decrease our inflammation. And look at this. All right. Blue berries. We've got some great stuff here for you. Pretty much like the Mediterranean diet that we all hear so much mm -hmm. about. We've got olive oil. Where do we want to keep this? In the fridge, so we preserve all of its good antioxidants. Um, we have some fatty fish, our salmon, our wild salmon, our uh, sardines, great sources of uh, anti-inflammatory oils. Mm -hmm. um, we've got our blueberries. Why, why are blueberries so great? Blueberries are the number one food source of antioxidants. Super Not food. only do they kill the free radicals, but they brighten up your skin. Mm. They get rid of wrinkles. They get rid of I'll dull skin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So blueberries is a must. Blueberries and this probiotic drink a little breakfast. Um, is a terrific breakfast, a terrific snack when you're at work. And we've got some soup here. Um, notice this, this nice butternut squash soup, which is rich in carotenoids, help brighten up your face. And notice, is this in a can? This is, no, it's not in, is that a trick question? No, it's not in a can. <laughs> Why don't we want a can, Lana? We don't want a can because cans are lined with horrible chemicals called BPAs. And when they come inside of our bodies, they are hormone disruptors. And so they cause, again, like the milk that I was drinking when I was in college and broke, mm -hmm. they disrupt our endocrine system, our hormones go out of whack, Test testosterone increases, yep. acne goes up, Bad cysts stuff. go up. So we don't want to use anything in a can. Perfect. This is great. BPA free. All right. Look at my water bottle. Speaking of BPA, ah. my water bottle is made out of glass, glass. not plastic. Mm -hmm. Again, no BPAs. Glass. Yeah, glass is the way to go. We want to be old school here, right? What do we have for supplements here? So supplements are very important. If you want beautiful skin, you have to have a beautiful gut. Ah. When you are not digesting food, when you are not going to the bathroom regularly, mm. you have a lot of toxic buildup, and guess what happens? He's nodding. It, <laughs> our cameraman is nodding. It shows up in your skin. You have inflamed, bad skin. Mm -hmm. So I want everybody to take a probiotic. Yep, if absolutely. you refuse to take a probiotic, here's my probiotic drink. Yep. Um, if you're gonna take this probiotic, I want it in the morning, before right. food with a large glass of water. Perfect. Okay. Um, astaxanthin, have you heard of this? I have not. Okay. This is made from microalgae, which salmon, wild salmon, eat. And it gives them that red color. This is a terrific carotenoid. And this 
is our body's natural sunscreen. So it saves our skin from all the UV radiation, from all the environmental toxins. Mm. This is terrific to take. You take it and it brightens your skin, literally brightens it and protects it from all the sun damage. I'll take it. Wait a minute, if you don't want to take this, <laughs> then guess what you're gonna eat? A lot of. All right. Okay, I try same to thing. Eat more of that. Good. I'm glowing. So this is my secret weapon. You have to, have to, have to start right. with coconut oil. A lot of people cook with this, and that's fine. You can cook with this instead of using the saturated butters and the saturated fats. You can cook with it, and it actually increases your metabolism, boosts up your thyroid a little bit. What I do instead of cooking with it, it so they can see. I actually use it on my skin. So if you see, it's kind of hard. What you have to do is you have to scoop a little bit. All right. And you, can scoop a you can scoop. Now, I want you to sort of give it some heat. All right. Okay. To emulsify it. Give it heat. Give it heat. And now put it all over your body. I put it on my face and in my hair. Multi-purpose. Multi-purpose, as my earrings are dropping. This is the most natural moisturizer you will ever, ever have. Check smells, out how... Smells nice, Look too. how soft we are. Yep. And, it's and your hair. Mm -hmm. It smells a little, you know, funky. I mean, you're going to no, smell like a coconut, nice. but it doesn't matter. There's worse things to smell like. It doesn't matter because you are going to be glowing. <laughs> you are not putting any toxins inside of you. Yeah. It's all natural. I want everybody to start using this. Fights acne, fights eczema, fights all sorts of dull, wrinkly skin. Awesome. And you could cook with it and you could eat it so you can lick your That's fingers. Right. <laughs> Well, toxins. Let's talk a little bit about, I mean, we could go hours talking about toxins, but let's talk a little bit about um, when you're, you know, buying uh, skincare products, some real things you want to look out for, okay? Um, so look at this right here, right? This is a common drugstore item, um, and it looks natural, right? It's, it's St. Ives, it's nice and, it's got the oatmeal here, but a lot of these products, which even claim to be natural, which by the way, the FDA doesn't really regulate the term natural, are loaded with um, chemicals like parabens, which parabens are a preservative, um, phthalates. How do we know if there's a phthalate in a product? So you always want to turn it around and you have to start reading the ingredients. Mm -hmm. Now you and I both have science degrees. Right. Look at these ingredients. If you can't pronounce it, I can't pronounce most of these mm -hmm. and I have a science degree. If you can't pronounce it, you should, you should not be, be eating it. it and certainly not putting it on your skin, your which goes organ. into your bloodstream, right. causes DNA damage. Right. Um, we want to look for some ingredients right here. It says fragrance and right. it says parfume. Right. And that means what? It usually means phthalates. And phthalates, you mentioned uh, endocrine disruptors earlier. There's a lot of evidence that is showing that endocrine disruptors building up in our body because of all these toxins that we put on our skin um, are leading to things like reproductive, neural, um, uh, developmental problems. So absolutely, they're cancer stuff. causing and they damage your liver. Mm -hmm. The other what thing we, we want here? to talk about is the triclosan. Mm, triclosan. What is triclosan? Triclosan is a synthetic antibacterial agent oh. that is similar to Agent Orange. Mm, wonderful. It is now found in all of these antibacterial right. soaps, antibacterial toothpaste, antibacterial underwear, antibacterial socks. Are you kidding me? We don't We're in need a bubble. To, we are in a bubble. We don't need to use so many antibacterial products. We do not because the triclosan builds up and what does it do? Well, look, now it, it's creating uh, resistant drugs. So we get these super, super bugs. bugs. Um, so no good. I mean, we can just do old school. Like, old school okay. soap. Oh, old school soap. Plain old tons Plain of Maine. Plain old right? soap. And if you even look at this, if you read the ingredients, it'll say, you know, no phthalates, no parabens, no sulfates. And you'll see sulfates a little bit on our um, graphic that we'll show. Um, just things that we don't need to be putting on our skin and, and having build up in our, in our body, causing problems. Here we've got some other products. Um, These are natural products that we can use. And this is a facial cleanser. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, on the back, it, you know, it says no phthalates, no, no uh, parabens, none of that stuff that could act as an endocrine disruptor. You know, especially important for developing children. You know, if you think you're doing your kids a favor by putting this natural uh, stuff in their bath, I mean, there's a lot of studies that can, are really showing this is not 
good stuff, um, but not regulated by U.S. government. We live in a capitalist economy, so you can buy what you want to buy. It's not okay. Look, the skin is the fingerprint of your internal health. Yeah. So if you have any sort of skin problems, wrinkles, dull skin, acne, eczema, inflammation, you have to realize that what you are eating or what you are using yeah. on your skin is creating this inflammatory Absolutely skin problem. Agree. So, I mean, would you put triclosan directly onto your liver? Ew. But we put it onto our skin organ. Ew. All right? Ew, ew, ew. So, what are we going to do? We're going to glow. We're going to look great for the summertime and the warm weather to come. We're going to glow with our natural products and with our coconut, coconut oil and our good foods to keep us nice and healthy. All right, everyone. Be safe. Be healthy. Bye.